Don't miss the Green and Growing show in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Eagle TV. Ellis County Horticulture Agent Holly Dickman will identify common lawn and garden issues while providing up-to-date information. Watch weekdays in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Channel 14 or 614. Green and Growing, brought to you by Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 and Eagle TV. With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today. Well, we're in the middle of June and I often get questions about insects in the landscape and in the garden and, and this year's no exception. This is the time of year that if you have junipers like are standing behind me or spruce trees or cedar trees, you really need to be on the lookout for a very common pest and that's the bagworm. So if you see bagworms, um, what they are, are caterpillars that create bags out of the foliage that they're feeding on. And so they create this bag and it dangles from the plant. And so they continue to feed on the bag until they create this, this large enclosed structure that protects the bagworm or the caterpillar. Now, if you're seeing large caterpillar or bagworms, excuse me, like this, those are from last year, actually. Those aren't current bagworms. Those are actually from last year or even a previous year. Um, what we are looking for at this time of year is bagworms that have just hatched. So usually bagworms will start out as eggs. They start hatching when it warms up in May and they continue to hatch throughout the growing season or throughout the growing season, excuse me, throughout June. And so when we recommend treatment, we talk about spraying at the end of June or the first part of July. Um, at that time, usually they're small and I have one here. I had a couple of examples. Um, so right now they're probably about a quarter to half an inch long. I don't know if you can see that, we'll zoom in. Um, but they are right at the small size where they're just starting to do some feeding, but they're not doing mass amounts of feeding where you're really noticing the damage. Um, they're also small enough that they're easy to control. So they're uh, not well protected by that bag yet. Like I showed you those old ones here. Um, they are very well protected when they get beyond an inch in size. So you wanna catch them when they're small. So that's why we recommend about end of June, early July for one treatment of these pests. Now, when we talk about what to use, there are so many different products out there on the market that are labeled for bagworms. Really, you just need to look for an insecticide that has bagworms on the label. Some of the more common ones include things like orthene, malathion, um, dipel, spinosad. There's tons of different ones out there on the market. The most important thing to remember though is timing, which we talked about end of June, early July, and also thorough coverage. So when you have big large trees like this, that's more difficult for a homeowner because you really do need to cover the entire plant. If you have smaller shrub like junipers, you also um, and even on these, you need to get on the inside of the plant. So if you're using a hand sprayer, you want to make sure and use the wand and just stick it inside that foliage and make sure you get thorough coverage. So the two most important things, timing and thorough coverage to get good control of bagworms. Now another option, if you miss the spraying window and we get into the fall time and, and you're starting to notice some of these bigger bagworms on your plant, um, you can hand pick those off. You can do that throughout the winter months and that's another way to control them. It's just a little more tedious. So again, this is the time of year to be out scouting your plants for bagworms. And I mentioned the most common things that they feed on, junipers and spruces and cedar trees. However, I've seen them on rose bushes. I've seen them on honey locust trees. I've seen them on just about anything. Um, but those are the most common plants that they like to attack. So certainly check those out first. If you have questions about bagworms or other insects in your landscape, please contact your local Extension office for more information. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent.
Don't miss the Green and Growing show in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Eagle TV. Ellis County Horticulture Agent Holly Dickman will identify common lawn and garden issues while providing up-to-date information. Watch weekdays in the noon to 9 p.m. hours on Channel 14 or 614. Green and Growing, brought to you by Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 and Eagle TV. With our current weather conditions, it takes a real expert to create landscape that'll thrive. Riedel's Garden Center has the staff with the expertise of water requirements for plants, lawns, and landscapes that'll stand up to our changing weather conditions. With 25 years of hands-on experience, owner Darren Riedel will customize a landscape design and irrigation system to meet your expectations and our climate. It's recommended to protect your lawn using Fertilone products available at Riedel's Garden Center, an authorized dealer. Call or stop by Riedel's Garden Center today.